What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Walter Brady, aka Walt. I right, thank you for checking out this video. This is just a general introduction leading into my purpose of this YouTube channel and my goals for this YouTube channel. Like you see on the screen right now, this is me. Um, I'm recording my screen, so I, I don't have a camera to um, really record my face. So this is definitely me. This is just my collegiate basketball pitcher that I played for two years, which is Greensboro College. Um, I just want you to try to put a picture to the voice, but the main purpose of this channel is definitely to help the basketball community, the basketball world get better. You know what I mean? It's so many guys I give um, props to, the Gannon Beggs, the Makai Lancasters, Michael Lancaster, um, Ryan Goodson, there's many more, Dre Baldwin. Um, the purpose of this channel is to to definitely take your basketball game to the next level. What I mean is, like, if you lacking something, you have to seek a resource, and I want to be that resource. And the resource I'm providing, providing for you are just drills and tips tips on really how to take um, your weaknesses and turn them to strengths. Because right now I'm not the nicest player, but coming from what I'm coming from, being as football player and pretty much changing sports and pretty much been a factor for every team that I'm on is such a blessing for me to give back and I've always been a guy in which I'm always thinking of ways to get better and I feel like I do a very good job of um, doing that but you only can be the judge of that but with me I will provide you with um, workouts um, I have my blog um, I have a blog in which I'm still I have a workout in which I really want to give to the basketball community, so I just got to look, upload it to my blog. Um, I have a link in the description as well. So it's it's I feel like it's my job to just get you nice. Like I'm an expiring trainer. This is two years ago when I played for Greensboro College, but um, what I have seen with the the basketball community is it's not a lack of drive and it's not a lack of instruction. Example I use is like when I played basketball at the D3 level, which is not Duke, it's not North Carolina. We at the bottom of the pole. I seen a lot of players. They just don't know what to do. It's like when I used to when I played basketball, a lot of the moves I teach now and when I scroll, it was kind of like impulsive. Um, like for instance, I didn't know at 11 and 12 why I stepped back work and when to use it, and I used to do it all the time. People was like, man, they was kind of like. With my athleticism, it really kind of transcends me to be a good basketball player. And as I started to get older and wise, I started putting two and two together. I was like, if you're an athlete, why not be skilled? Why not be the best at what you do? An example I can give you is like, like with me, I always exploded on my jump shot. And I think it kind of hurt me, but I started to see over time your body and mind start to adjust to that new height. And think about it from an uh, average guy that really can't jump high. He can't really contest your shots. And when you start adding pull-ups and step-backs, you are a nightmare because physically you can impose your will and your athleticism to just kill him. He really don't have a chance to guard you because if you got some explosiveness and you got leaping ability with a pull-up jump shot and step-back and stuff, you are a nightmare. So um, being a coach for two years at Greensboro College, I have seen a lot of guys feel like they they really want to they really want to play, but they really don't have the right instruction and tools. And I feel like coaching at the highest level, they can't really sit down and tell all their players when to pull up, how to pull up, why to pull up. And that's where I come in at. I feel like I really can demonstrate at a very high level of what I'm capable of doing. If you need any more clarity about where my abilities at. Um, definitely YouTube search me You'll see some drills in which I was doing That's pretty old And right now I can't really upload in Any workouts per se Only thing I can upload is probably um, Two ball stationary because I'm recovering From a rupture Kenley's tendon I did that um, March 3rd So that's I definitely can devise workouts Though I can kind of the, the, the drills that I did on YouTube, I can make a workout specifically for that video in which you can take it to the court with you and you can um, track your results from doing them different drills. But I'm definitely going to give back. All this stuff is going to be free to y'all. I'm not 
here to charge y'all. I'm just here to pass on my wisdom and hopefully take your your current skill level to the to the next level. So I can provide you with um all the reason reaction to get your shot off whenever you want. Um, I can provide you drills and skills to have a great off season for you. I definitely do my vet best to have you subscribe to my blog in which I have in the um in the description in which you can um pretty much use the workouts to take to the gym with you. Um shooting drills, I have that I give you the proper fundamentals to change a, a flaw in your shot. Um I give you two ball dribbling drills, one ball dribbling drills. Um my favorite is definitely basketball moves. I definitely want to teach you how to get your shot off whenever you want. I also be providing um, videos on the greats, what makes Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant um, great, how they get their shot off, when, why they did that move. I definitely have YouTube videos describing them as well. Um, I also will be breaking down um, defensive players because my niche as a basketball player has been definitely – Locking people down So I definitely Probably my next video will Probably be on The top Five perimeter Perimeter Excuse me Defenders in the game So I'll be That'll be my next video i definitely Show you why he's good And what's his mindset To the offensive player Why he takes him out of the game And Any questions Any concerns Any advice Any um Consulting Man let's just Let's make this Let's make your basketball journey Journey a pleasant one With me I ain't gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with y'all and real. It's been tough for me because I felt as an athlete that that's all I can depend on. So when I first um, walked on to my junior college and when I made the team, I said, "Okay, I got a good vertical. Let me show everybody. Let me get myself in the door." That's what I always say. If I can do a windmill, everybody's gonna be pretty impressed because that's not an easy dunk to do. And then I can do um, double clutches. Um, just doing crazy stuff in the air Let me show everybody I'm capable So I always felt like I had a chip on my shoulder But as I learned and as I got older That I always had a work ethic But I never knew I never used my work ethic Like I should You know what I mean I felt like I could have been more detailed in my approach I could have been more structured But you live and learn But now as I'm away from the game I see now that I have a special gift To teach, reach, and aspire And give you the knowledge that I have to understand how to play the game of basketball. So, um, I'm sorry that the video's kind of long. It's ran up on eight minutes, but um, definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. My next video will be on um, the top five perimeter defenders in the game, in my personal opinion. Um, I try to upload video clips of the these the five great defenders, and I definitely have my basketball blog in the description. In which you, I advise you to subscribe to because if you're looking to take the attachments of the workouts and take them to the gym, definitely do that. And man, just connect with me on Facebook. I'll be probably making a Facebook page in which I'll be uploading these videos as well. Just connect with me, um, follow me, and I promise I'll take you again to the next level. If you like what you see, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.